Apple's special event Tuesday will likely feature more secrets than an Edward Snowden leak, but here's what we think you can expect ahead of an iPhone launch tomorrow. A cutthroat smartphone market might force Apple to make some sweeping changes to its routine showcase. It's been widely reported that Cupertino Company plans to dish out not one, but two updated versions of its iPhone 5. Named the 5S and 5C, each would be aimed at a particular consumer. The 5S would most likely calm the Apple fan who can't wait more than six months for an upgrade. This bigger, faster brother of the iPhone 5 will likely sport a better processor and camera, with some reporting a 13 megapixel sensor on board. While the rumors circulating around the 5S include a fingerprint scanner for extra security. On the other end of the spectrum sits the iPhone 5C. This version could be geared toward a new customer, the one who doesn't want to pay an arm and a leg for Apple's coveted smartphone. Mac rumors reported earlier this summer the 5C could cost as low as $99 with a carrier's monthly plan. Reports have indicated the price cut comes from using cost-effective materials in the phone, like plastic instead of metal. It's also rumored the 5C would likely retire the iPhone 4 and 4S models. Regardless of cost and speed, one element each phone brings to the launch is color. Leaked pictures originating from Apple's Chinese manufacturers show new metallic shades like this gold or champagne version introduced for the 5S. The lighter 5C is rumored to ditch the black and white for a full color model seen here in pictures from Chinese site iApps. Overall, we're expecting Apple to expand its palette not just in color, but in its market reach as well. Earlier this year, the tech community asked why the tech giant, which is known for high-quality products, went into the consumer-friendly phone market to begin with. Perhaps the market driving Apple's budget phone is China. The Wall Street Journal reported Apple has already struck a deal with China Mobile, the country's largest carrier, to deliver low-cost smartphones to its 700 million subscribers. Currently, the iPhone is priced at more than $800 in China. The sweet spot for selling a smartphone in China is around $480. Another featured product at Apple's Tuesday event will be iOS 7. Each new iPhone 5 will sport Apple's latest operating system. And CEO Tim Cook will finally reveal when iDevice users can download the update for themselves this fall. All Things D also reports other products like Apple TV will gain a new interface more representative of the new design. Other wild rumors include anything from an Apple manufactured TV set to a brand new smartwatch. Also, all's quiet on the iPad and tablet front. The event will kick off Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time at the company's Cupertino headquarters. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrews.